Welcome back to the Tacoma Holic channel everybody. Today we are tackling a sensitive issue with Tacoma owners who have lifted their trucks and that is vibrations. We will be going over the axle shim install for your rear axle which does usually eliminate vibrations, uh, minor vibrations at least. If this is your first time stopping by and you love everything Tacoma related, please consider subscribing to the channel because now is a perfect time to subscribe to the channel because there are tons of big mods I have coming for the truck. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Before we get to the actual install, I am just running the Wheeler's Axle Shim Kit, which is a three degree kit, which I believe the three degree is the most popular sort of middle ground. If you have like more of an extreme vibe, maybe you need to up the degree or lower the degree. I'm not really sure on that. Those probably, those kits probably cost a little bit more, but if you're interested in picking up the same kit I did, link down in the description below. And just in case you are wondering what the heck an axle shim kit is, it is literally a shim, which is a small spacer you are going to install below your leaf springs, which you will get, a, I guess, a little bit of a lift since it is a spacer. One side is thicker than the other, so it will not be even. The purpose of it is to rotate your differential into more of a stock alignment since when you lift your truck in the front and the rear, of course, you sort of throw off all the factory geometry, which can sometimes cause vibrations. You can have two people who install the same exact lifts. One could get vibes, one might not. So that's just the nature of lifting your Tacoma. So this is one of the common fixes that can address that. One quick thing I will say, if you are experiencing minor vibrations after you're lifting your truck, I did a video, which I will link to right above right now, on the carrier bearing drop kit. I would recommend trying that first since it's a much easier install. Literally takes five or 10 minutes. The axle shim, it's not a difficult install, but it's definitely a little more involved. So if you have minor vibrations, check out the carrier bearing drop first if that does like when i did it it worked for me a little bit but i still had minor vibes so you can try that and usually the carrier bearing drop kit if that doesn't outright fix your vibes that in conjunction with the actual shim kit should take care of all that for you okay so for the first step you see i have the truck it's not exactly parked level but we have chalked the front tires Lifted the truck in the air, removed the rear tires, and I have the rear suspended on jack stands using my sliders right here. Next step, you can see we are removing the bottom bolt for the rear shocks just so we can get the axle to droop even more. Next step, I am going to remove the bolt right here holding the e-brake cable in place just so this doesn't get overextended when we drop the rear axle. Next step is to remove the U-bolts again so you can get the full droop. You may or may not have to use PB Blaster on these bolts. I've had mine on for about a year, year and a half, and they do salt the roads here in Northern Virginia. The other side was just a little stubborn to get off, but with a breaker bar, we did manage to get them off without too much issue because we were actually out of PB Blaster. Always have PB Blaster on hand just in case. Okay, finally got the U-bolts off and it reminded me I need to start jogging and doing cardiovascular exercise again. After that, we have a smaller jack stand right in front of the rear diff to support that and keep that from rotating and moving out of position when we drop the rear axle. Next up, we are putting a metal C-clamp on either side of the center pin to hold all the leaves together so when we remove the center pin, they don't fall all over the place. Okay, it was sort of impossible to film the next part, but you get the replacement center pin through the bottom of the shim. Make sure you have the fat part of the shim towards the back of the truck and the skinnier part towards the front. This will help rotate the diff so it's in more of a stock location and hopefully alleviate any vibes you might have. Careful when you're doing this not to pinch your fingers if you need extra room to get the bolt down there started. If you have a buddy, you can sort of tip one axle, get a seesaw thing going on and get it in there. Then go ahead and get the top bolt hand tight make sure the plate right here is as parallel as possible to the leaves on either side if, if it's cocked one way or the other you can use like a hammer and a center punch to sort of align it get that hand tight then we are going to raise the axle and get this back into position and get everything torqued down okay everybody here is the finished product got everything bolted back together you can see there is the passenger side axle shim and the driver's side right over there all in all not too bad of an install so of course in the beginning of the video I did say the purpose of the actual shim is to rotate your differential just a little bit so it's in more of a stock alignment. 
Of course, you can see the actual shim is sitting on top of your rear axle. So doing that by itself, of course, does not actually rotate the differential. However, you can see your whole axle with the U-bolts and everything is tied to your leaf packs, which are rotated by the actual shim. So that will in turn pull that forward. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say axle shim. Shim, I keep saying sim, so please forgive me for that. So that is what it does. I have taken a test drive, and before, like I mentioned, I experienced a very minor vibe at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. So either right before or right after my vehicle shifted into second gear, I do have an automatic. And like I said, they're very minor vibes, nothing that really bothered me, but I was curious to see if this would fix it, and it completely eliminated my vibes. If you have a similar vibe issue after lifting your truck, hopefully this will work for you. Just a few afterthoughts on the install. All in all, it is a very simple process. I would highly recommend you do this with a buddy just for the simple fact that once you drop your rear axle, it is much easier to get the new center pins into place if you have someone to, if you're working on the passenger side, if you have someone to either raise or lower by grabbing your drum or your hub the axle so you can get that into place. You could, of course, use that with a bottle jack or a separate floor jack assuming you're gonna have your primary floor jack under the pumpkin right there. But that would just take a lot longer, so if you have a buddy, he can sort of raise and lower that and make things a thousand times easier for you, so I would recommend you do this with a friend. Aside from that, it is a very simple install. All right, everybody, that will do it for this install video on the Tacoma Holic channel. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Help me grow the channel even more by sharing it with your friends and family on social media. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video.